guys, I am here today with a quick and easy recipe for Oreo fudge. It comes together in a snap and you just need a few simple ingredients. You're going to need some Oreo cookies, some butter, some white chocolate chips, and sweetened condensed milk. I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box, but if you wanna see how this yummy fudge comes together, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I have an eight by eight pan that I have lined with foil paper, and then I lightly sprayed with cooking oil. And in this Ziploc bag, I have 16 Oreo cookies that I crushed. Now they're not pulverized, you don't want them to be you know, like dust. You want them to still be a little bit chunky. So I'm gonna take half of these cookies and lay them on the bottom of the pan. And then you're just gonna spread them out. Just like so. So the next thing that we're gonna do is go over to the stove and that's where I'm going to melt my white chocolate chips, butter, and my evaporated milk. All right guys, so I have a heavy pot here and I have my stove on medium heat. I'm just gonna drop in my white chocolate chips and my butter and my sweetened condensed milk. Okay guys, so here is the mixture all melted. And so we are going to move back to the other side of the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to put the rest of this together. All right, so all I'm gonna do is pour this mixture over my crumbled cookies. Take the remaining cookies and sprinkle them on top. The next thing you're gonna do is cover this with plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator until it's cool, which will be an hour or two. Hey guys, so here is the fudge. I actually um, was doing some other household chores and stayed in there a little bit longer than I was planning for it to, but it stayed in the fridge for about four hours and I started cutting it up. So here's some on the plate and here's the rest on the cutting board. I will caution you to make sure that you do grease the sides of the pan just as well so that it doesn't stick. Mine did stick a little bit, so I had a little trouble pulling it off. Um, but it is a very chewy fudge, almost taffy-like. So this is not going to be um, the fudge that's just gonna kind of break apart in your mouth. It's very chewy. So I have my husband here to demonstrate the chewiness of this fudge. And there you go, see it's very chewy, it's good. Um, Howard said it kind of tastes like cookies and cream. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Oh, and by the way, you will wanna store this fudge in the fridge in an airtight container. You might wanna put some wax paper in between the layers because it does uh, stick together just a little bit. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next time.